All right, so we have self.username equal username. All right, so this allows us to use it throughout the entire uh, class, which we will. Um, password, yeah. And there's another one. Uh, oh, driver. Yeah, so the driver is actually, uh, this is what we're getting from WebDriver. Now, now be advised, um, you, you do have to install something separate for the web driver. Uh, there's a particular file called gecko driver that is specifically for Firefox. You need this, you need that file to run. Um, so, I mean, you can search Selenium and it, it has all the information there. I mean, I'm not gonna waste time going through that. So, I mean, if you're really interested, check that out. Anyway, so first thing we wanna do is have a sign in. Um, yeah, actually, hold on, let's, let's make sure that we're doing this uh, according to our to-dos here. All right, so, yeah, let's put it right under here. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so when we sign in, um, we want to pretty much have, uh, we want to have the driver and we want to look up the input for like login information. Um, so we have driver.selfdriver. So this is essentially we're taking this variable here and we're passing it to this function uh, method. That's why we have this self in the parameter. It allows us to access these variables here, right? Which we will need. So we have, well, for one, we'll need a username element and that is going to, so we call driver and we're gonna find an element by, I think it's X, by XPath? Yeah, XPath. So, so that's a little interesting. The uh, formula for this one, you would typically have like the class. So you put this in quotes. And I really, I highly recommend reading documentation for this stuff because I really have to look at it. It changes all the time. Uh, so input usually uh, is, is typical for login stuff. Um, so usually input and then you would have like name, uh, which would equal, and in this case for Amazon, it will be your email. All right, I think I uh, yeah, close that brackets out. Yeah, so thing, yes, yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. And um, okay, so now that we, so what we're doing is we, we have our page. Uh, well, if we have our page, this will navigate to URL. And we'll pass this when we get to the sign-in. Um, you know, because we're, we're not just gonna just go straight to the log uh, sign-in page. Uh, we're gonna go to the product first and then hit the buy now option and it's gonna take you to the sign in page and that's where this comes in. So I'm just doing this first to, to get it out the way. It's good to, to section things off because um, signing in would always be the same anyway. So if we need to sign in again, we could just call this function method, method. All right, so uh, one, one thing you always wanna do is clear the field they may put some, I mean, you may have like a save username or whatever. You, you don't want to just assume your information is gonna be there or that it's clear. Uh, so it's just good practice. Um, so we wanna do uh, after that now is send the keys. So send keys is essentially what I'm doing now, just typing the keys and stuff come up. The browser will actually do that on its own using this method, yeah. And what we want it to say will be our username, right? So when we uh, instantiate 
this uh, our class when we actually use it we have to put in your username as a parameter and this is where it's going to go right so now that we put the uh all right so we we type the name into the form now the thing is you just don't want to again just blaze through these pages because pages take time to load and you want to mimic realistic behavior um i would actually maybe put like a, a for loop uh where you're typing it bit by bit um but amazon doesn't seem to be that that picky but for other sites like social media sites yeah like you would have to do that um so in this case here i'll, I'll demonstrate it real quick so say for letter in self.username you know you would then just put in your, your letter that's it and you would have like a, for every letter you want to mimic like maybe like a second maybe or half a second you know so you're mimicking typing you know but again that's not required for this honestly i kind of think they encourage bots at this point allows people to buy more allows them to buy faster amazon has no problem with this but social media like instagram and stuff like that you you definitely need to to do that or they will flag it as bot behavior anyway okay so uh the next thing we need to do is sleep so again we wait uh, in this case call yeah sleep and now what do we sleep like how long do we sleep so i like to use a a random um generator between two variables so that way it's just either between this or that and in this case we want to do say uh hmm int integer of wait time yeah and i want to divide that by by two you know because I, I don't want to just it, it we don't have to have multiple variables for this um but also wait time right so it's going to be between basically what two divided by seven three three to seven seconds right and again if you want to update that you can just change this and it affects everything but it picks a random you know somewhere between three and and seven so it's not just one set variable all the time which is what i like however this may take uh, so let's do uh, oh yeah now let's do five for now all right, so now um, after that, we want to, okay, we typed it in. Now now what we have to actually submit it. Uh, in, in this case, usually when you type in your, your username, you hit that enter, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Same thing, send keys. Now this is where that, that keys uh, module that we imported here comes in handy. So you type in keys and you just hit return. Oh yeah, let me use the name of the key. That's it. Right, and, and you want to sleep again. Um, you, you really want to sleep. After, after every input, you want to sleep. Uh, you want to wait in this case, you know. So, you know what, I can just, I don't, I don't want to type this 50 million times. Yay. Bam, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now, Actually, we can do this with a password. Enter username. It's always good to comment and label because you, you, you won't always think the same way at any given time. So you want to prepare for your future self as well. Your future self will thank you. Like, you know, I thank my past self all the time. Writing this code allows me to reference it again later. All right. Anyway, so again, I like to password. You know, just keep keep the the, uh, the variable name simple. Um, and we're we're essentially going to do the same thing. You know, find uh, element you know, by x path. Um, so instead of username, we're going to well not username email we're going to put in password so, like, because that is the name of the field that we're looking for. All right, and I'll, I'll yeah, 
I mean, if, if you ever want to know how to get certain items, just whatever you want to, to emulate, just right click on it and go to inspect element and, and you'll see the name for it and all that. Uh, it does require a little bit of HTML knowledge, not much, but if you're watching this video, hopefully you should have some, you should be open to at least learning that. If not, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. All right, anyway. Um, I'm using two screens, so that's why I keep looking over here. 